Hello, good day to you everyone. Welcome to the another episode on tips and workflow. In today's episode, I'm going to discuss on the some of the enhancements that we have done in Autodesk Moldflow 2021 release. If for all, if you got a chance to go to the some of the updates webinar, you would have seen that new visualization options has been added. So let's explore on what this option is all about. If you look at the like the results, for example, fill time plot, by default, it shows as an uh, 256 rainbow color. Like in this case, by default, I'm trying to show you the how the filling pattern is happening uh, from zero to like 3.3 seconds, which red indicates like in the starting position and the blue is like in 3.3 uh, is the end end of the fill well in the previous release we can reverse it like if we go in the reverse options and we'll say that reverse it uh, we can do that but with the 2021 release now we are added you can see that different visualization options has been added this is particularly to the color blind people who find it very difficult to differentiate uh, between the green and the red or the blue and yellow for example, let's look at the, the black body. It just shows like an, a thermal imaging type of thing, uh, how the flow is happening. For example, like the hot melt is flowing through and very close to the nozzle and that's why it goes, goes further. I'm just showing an example and then it could be in the cool to warm as well. Uh, in this case, you can see that it moves from from the cooler to the warm or you can reverse it as well but the one thing that i observe when i'm looking at the cool to warm i could see that there are some well lines forming in these particular locations at these you know cutout areas and you can see i can clearly find it although there could be a chances of forming and well line over here so this can be very much be useful to interpret the results as well let's explore it for the other plots for an example i'm going to show it on the singmark estimate by default we get the this plot which shows like zero to whatever the maximum magnitude we have it in the for the plot to make it ease let's go into the option settings optional settings and visualization by default it's a rainbow and then i'm going to do it as an traffic light like we have it into the advisor version traffic light the same way I'm going to do it over here that gives me the understanding that which are the areas which are having a very high intensity of the sink marks um, uh, intermediate intensity and ab absolutely there is no chances of sink mark well if you want to make it more closer to the reality I'll put it into the like a gray scale now this gives me an understanding these are the areas where i'm going to have and like and sync marks clearly differentiated and black is completely been out of sync marks areas so this is one of the way to look at or interpret the result with the new visualization options i find it very useful for the average volumetric shrinkage as well like in this case i have put the average volumetric shrinkage into the three or the tri color showing like green yellow and red area so red are the zones areas which are more prone to the sink marks or volumetric shrinkage and most important part is like if you're looking at the fiber orientation or the part or the reason having the metal flex for the pre-coloring type of thing you can use the optional setting visualization setting and look at the like grayscale this gives some fair information like how the segregations of the of the fibers or the or the uh, powder flex is uh, or the metal flex is going to happen over here so you can make it more saying that okay nodal average i just removed it and this gives me a further detailed information of of that flex accommodation so try it uh, on your different uh, results and see how it could be 
useful in better understanding of the results. I hope uh, uh, this clip was useful and you will try to implement a new visualization options. Thank you for your time.